Hello air signs, it's Brittany here to do your random tarot card reading. So, <clears throat> Page of Wands. So you could be getting some communication from somebody who is, this person could be younger than you or could just be, um, could live a different lifestyle than you do. This person could be very direct, outspoken, maybe even blunt. This person gets bored easily in relationships. They roam sexually, roam the earth looking for whomever they shall be able to devour sexually. <laughs> this person could be a Sagittarius. Hold on real quick. <clears throat> air signs, air signs. Okay, so this person actually can be a lot like you in the sense that they are going to say it how it is, say it how they feel it, say it how they mean it, say it how they want it to go. But with you, this person um, is looking for passion. Oh, that's from a whole nother deck. But in case you were wondering what it was. <clears throat> somebody is like trying to move away from, um, from some type of toxic or negative energy and go towards something more stable and calm and clear. So this could be about a person leaving their... Um, their relationship or their um, their house or their you know their household situation to come towards you to have something that is more stable. They could be leaving somebody. Yeah, somebody wants to end something to come toward you. They want to end something and they want to, they want a new beginning in love with you. It's like they're leaving one king or queen to go to another king or queen. And this could also be what you're doing subconsciously. Maybe the universe is guiding you towards another situation. Something that you're more passionate about. Yeah, it's the end for somebody. Okay, it's the end of a third party relationship or situation for sure somebody's leaving one relationship to go towards you um let's see what these are talking about yeah with you this person is um happy This person feels um, fulfilled when they're with you. Their desires, their needs, their desires are fulfilled. Their needs are met. <clears throat> they feel abundant. They look at the possibilities of what could become with you, got with you guys. Um, they feel that they could be abundant with you. They feel that they can build some type of a um, business or successful entreprise wait I don't know where these words is coming from they feel like they could build some sort of something that will be successful with you something that they can't do in their current situation or relationship um, if there was any other way that this person could have hurt you involving somebody else they're ending that. That's coming to an end. This person does not want to have you in a third party situation. This person does not want to see you sad. Air signs. And when when they did make you sad, when they did, when you, if you find found out that they were with somebody else, shh. And they made you feel sad. And they made you feel unloved. They made you feel like the other person was better than you. I mean, they didn't say these things or they, some of them probably did, but 
These, these are just feelings that comes over a person when they're in love with somebody and then boom, you find out that there's somebody else and they don't leave the person. They continue to live life with the person. It makes you feel like, one, I wasn't good enough. This is possible for some air signs. I, I'm not good enough. I Well, okay. First of all, you know that you're good. You know that you're better than a lot of people. But when you found out that what this person was doing or what they had going on, you could have, it could have crossed your mind for a second. Am I not good enough? Was I not good enough? Or did they think I was not good enough? Did they think I didn't look good enough? Was I not pretty enough? Or was my body not the way that, that the other person's body is? Or did I not have enough money? Did the person have more money than I did? Or was I not giving enough? Um, did I overgive? Was I... You know, it's a lot of things that could cross a person's mind when someone just stops talking to you and continues life with a person that you didn't even know was in the picture. It makes you feel shut down in a lot of ways. And then you can't really go forward in a new sexual relationship or a new um, spiritual relationship or a loving relationship. You can go forward in it, but your mind will still be stuck on what the person did. So in a way, that situation, this three of swords situation, knowing that you were not the only one and that your heart will continually be broken, you know, time after time, shattered, like stabbed in the back. There's swords all in this reading. Um, well, it's not a lot of swords, but it's enough swords for me. S somebody hurt you. But that person, they don't want you to feel that pain. Air signs. Justice in reverse. Justice in reverse. What is this? Justice in reverse. So there is, there's, it could be two queens. Um, let's see, justice in reverse. What does this mean for air signs? Justice in reverse. Let's just reverse. Okay, so so you could probably feel as if if this person comes back into your life, there's still gonna be another person involved. There's still gonna be another queen involved. Um or another king involved, however it is, whatever the case is, but, and you probably feel like this person is going to be stingy and hold back on love, hold back on money, hold back on the truth regarding um, their sexual desires or whatever it is that they be lying about. You're going to feel like they're still going to be lying if you give them another chance, but at the same time, you're willing to give them another chance. But this time, you if that's what you're going to do anyway, if that's what you decide to do, you need to be very analytical and be independent of the person. You have to be watchful of this person. You have to, um, you know, see. You just have to watch them and listen to them and see what they come back for. And be ready to cut them off if they don't give you this Ten of Cups. Because this is what they're coming back for. They're coming back for ultimate happiness. And they know that you have your guard up. They know that you're a queen. And they know that you have a sword. And you're not scared to use it. But they're coming back for happiness with you. Air signs. Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. So, I feel like this person is leaving from someone that is egotistical. Somebody with a big ego. It could be a narcissist. 
type of um, person, narcissist type of person, a narcissistic type of person. I don't know what this is, but, but it seems like, yeah, they're leaving. <laughs> I was going to say it seems like they're leaving, but I paused just to see what the card is, and it does seem like they're leaving. It seems like they're leaving um, a situation where a person is sitting on their high horse and being snobby and possibly like acting like they're better than um, your person, something like that. It could be that they're with someone who is doing financially, they're doing good financially, so it's like... This person could help your person, but at the same time, this person could be making your person feel like they are less than because they are helping them, helping your person. Um, and I feel like they're leaving away from that. They're leaving away from the um, the um, the cattiness. I see a cat on this card, a black cat. Cattiness. Um, this person probably... Yeah, this person also probably has a, um, could be a, either a drinking problem or someone who just likes to be out in the, on the scene, out in the nightlight, um, nightlight, nightlife. Either way, they want the light on them in a, um, in a social way, this person. Probably, um talks bad about your person on their social media accounts or says little things about their home situation on Facebook or possibly it could be something like that or it could be that this person that they're dealing with just has a lot of female friends and they're always with their female friends they're always social which could be a problem for your person because whenever your person gets into an argument or alter whatever happens with that person the the person goes and tells everybody so it's like they can't be happy it's too they want to walk away from the um the negative childlike behavior they want to move away from the cattiness the um impulsive social media rampages this person goes on they want to walk towards something they could be proud of the person they could be leaving could be a um fire sign leo aries sagittarius could be their sign or in their chart somewhere but yeah this person doesn't see happiness in that situation at all they want to get out of it they want to come towards you And you could feel guarded. You could feel a certain way um, when it comes to this person. You could feel as if, you know, oh, we were supposed to be together the first time. And um, we were supposed to be together the first time and it didn't go right. Um, I don't know if I should really let this person come back in because I don't know if I can trust them. I don't know what their intentions are. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what, they're think, what they think they're going to do. And I don't feel ready. I'm unsure. But I love this person. I miss this person. I want this person. I'm out here vulnerable and confused because of this person. So it would be nice if this person could come back and take the blindfold off of my eyes so that I can see where they're coming from, what they want. Take the, um, the restraints from off of my arms so that... I can hug them back or fight them back, whatever it is I need to do. I just want this person to come back and be the real them so that I can be the real me. Um, hmm, that could be what somebody's feeling. And then because you got those, you have those, um, those, um, like loyal, but, um, what is it called? Genuine feelings, then judgment comes. Judgment comes to give, um, this give this love a second chance because it's not really about you like it's not about um it's not about the people not it's not about you or the person it's about the spirit the spirit of love the light-hearted energy the the vi the highest vibration of the planet that's what this is about air sign so this is about about sharing real love with somebody so if this is your story and this person does come back don't take it lightly be really good in this um 
loving vibration that you are being given. You've been given the highest vibration. Love. So treat it fairly, you know. What other messages do we have for air signs? Oh, the star. Boom. Wish fulfillment. Total happiness. A yes card. Yes to this new love. Yes to this new job. Yes to this new vibration. Yes to life. Yes, yes, yes. Seven of cups in reverse. No, we're no longer um, yes to God. Is that what you said, David? Yes to God as well. Yes to God. And seven of cups in reverse. Um, there's no longer any illusion. Illusion, that's how I usually say it. But illusion. Illusion. We can see now. We're not blinded anymore. We're not sleepwalking. We're awakened now. We're not, we don't, we, we're not being lied to or manipulated by the dark. Because we can see. We have starlight, moonlight, nightlight, um, social media platforms. We got all type of stuff that's showing off our talents, showing off who we are, how we love, what we have to offer in a relationship. So we're not blinded. And it's in the person we're dealing with is no longer blinded to who we are. They can see very clearly through our journey who we are, what we stand for. You are the star in this person's eyes. Whether they admit it or not, that's what's going on here. You are the star. And um, and so, yeah, I feel like so this relationship is moving out of a cranky spot. You and your person, you guys are coming out of a spot where you're um, always sad about love, looking for love, longing for love. Um, so bored and lonely, you start drinking and find yourself drinking three or more alcoholic beverages a day. <laughs> That's what medicine always say. Don't take if you drink three or more alcoholic beverages a day. You might find yourself being the, the, the warning, you know, the person that they're warning on the medicine labels, but you're coming out of that. Once this new, this new, um, energy and this old friendship or old love affair picks up, then you're going to start feeling a lot better and your person is too because you are divine par divine partners, divine counterparts. You guys were meant to meet up and to join forces and to experience love and life here at this time. So y'all are going to start feeling better. The Wheel of Fortune is here. The Knight of Wands, the Devil, and the Two of Wands in reverse. So somebody is coming out of this toxic energy, toxic negative energy it is too, where um, this person was attached to the other person. I don't know why um, Spirit is going here telling me the back this backup story about your person, but this person was attached to somebody else who they were with in the past. They couldn't leave them alone. They couldn't leave them alone. Um, this person was... Shh, shh. This person was... Your person was like passionate about making the other person's life hard or some in some type of way. Like your person was either going to follow this person everywhere they went. Whenever that person wanted to go off on their own and take the fool's journey then I feel like your person would go try to stop them. Or that could have been how the person was doing. Yeah, your person would go try to stop them by offering them love again. Offering them apologies. Or that could have been what your person, what was happening to your person. Um... Yes, yeah, a lot of fire in this reading for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So your person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, or they could be, or a Capricorn, or they could be dealing with those signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn. 
Um, and so I feel like um, they could have been married to this person or they could have had some type of um, family commitments with this person. Like they could have had bills with this person. And if their person that they were dealing with had children, then they were taking care of this person's children or they had children with this person. And so, like, they will try to bring up the children and say, like, what about the kids? What about the kids? You just going to leave me with my kids? Or are you just going to take my kids from me? Or stuff like that. Or they could even be saying stuff like, you had me raise these kids like they my own. And now, like, you just want to leave me and go be with somebody else and have my kids around somebody else. It was it's something like that with your person. Um, yeah, they need to stop it before they come towards you. So brace yourself if this is your story, if you already know it, or if it's resonating with you and you feel like this is about your person, brace yourself because this person is coming for a new beginning with you. This person does not want to be in that situation anymore with that person. They're coming for a new situation, a new beginning with you because first we have Wheel of Fortune. It was in reverse, but I flipped it up trying to be sneaky on this side, but it doesn't matter because it's still the will is still here. So, um... It possibly could have been turning slowly, like this person possibly couldn't come to you until they cleared up all that old karmic um, energy that they had going on with that other individual. Because some of us, we don't want to deal with somebody while they're dealing with somebody else because we don't want to have that be a part of our karmic our karmic. Um, our, our dealings, our energy. We don't want to we don't want to purposely subject ourselves to something that could keep manifesting itself over and over and over um you know because once you do something on purpose it's like okay you get what you deserve so it's, it's like like that type of energy this person just could not have this new beginning with you until they ended that old stuff with that person and in the beginning of the reading that's all they talked about about how they're moving away from something that was hurting you or could have hurt you and so with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, I'm going to leave it at that because um, the Ace of Swords talks about a surprise message or a visit from somebody who loves you. Something good could be happening for you, like a, um, you could be getting married to somebody um, in December, January, February, or you could be getting engaged, or you could be moving, you could be going on a trip with this person. Um... But be careful of feeling pressured into doing something. Um, be careful about tension and anxiety with this new situation. And um, yeah, marriage, happy family life, ten of pentacles, traveling, buying property together, and living life together, raising a family, and being actually happy. That's what this reading is about really it's a good reading let's get some overall energy for you air signs air signs the high priest So I feel like you know that this is happening. I feel like you already know what's happening or this person already knows what's happening. I feel like somebody here is definitely using the laws of attraction in this um, situation. I feel like somebody is flexing their manifestation chakras. No. <laughs> Like, I feel like someone planned this. Like, they, they already, when they met you, they knew that it was you. Okay, now it's time to go. Like, I feel like this person could have been in a relationship with somebody in and out with all the drama, all that over the years, and they would not leave the person. But when they met you, either you, either you were highly um, intuitive and you knew that this is your person, or they are highly intuitive as well as manifesting a new life in love with you for themselves because they are a master at manifesting and manipulating energies they are getting up out of that situation to come towards you and it's going to be loving no matter what they went through with the other person that seems to have nothing to do with what's going to happen with you 
um, yeah, they might have been that kind of bill to that person, but then when they come around you, then they're going to be a different kind of billy to you. Like, yeah, it's just something like that. This person had a hard time in his last relationship or her last relationship, and they're not going to have that issue with you. You guys are going to root. Y'all are meant to each other, meant to be with each other. High priestess energy. That goes along with the high priest. That's funny. Um, the oracle. She who knows. Trust your intuition. Trust your own intuition. High priestess energy. She who knows. The oracle. The all-seeing eye. Those are the symbols and the words that I wrote on that card. So, yeah. She, she or he is intuitive. Or you are intuitive and it's possible it's a possibility that both of you are intuitive good karma getting what you deserve justice monetary growth getting what you desire healthy changes that was a good reading boo hope you enjoyed it talk to y'all later bye